Tully from Range of Motion Physical Therapy. Today I'm going to talk about adductor strains and groin issues. I'm going to go through a program of exercises for early, early stage injury through to kind of medium long term recovery plan along with some return to play exercises. The first exercise I'm going to talk about is uh, using a ball. Um, this exercise can also be used to help you gauge how your injury is progressing. So the ball is obviously placed between your legs and your knees and you'll be pushing in. So if you feel a strain in your adductor region, you can gauge that out of 10 and use that number as your guide throughout the progress of this injury. So you place the ball between your feet, and you lie back with straight legs, and all you're going to do is contract your stomach muscles and just push in the ball, your two feet together against the ball and hold for five seconds. Again, you might experience some pain, but it's up to you to manage your pain so as you're not pushing through the pain. So you might do 10 repetitions each time holding for five seconds with the straight legs. The second position would be to place the ball between your knees, your knees in hook line position, and push in again. Again, get guiding the level of pain that you have, holding for five seconds, 10 repetitions. The next position would be to raise the legs up in the air. So again, we're having a little bit more core engagement and you're gonna push in again, hold for five seconds and do 10 repetitions. The fourth and final position would be to include a few tummy crunches. So again, you might just push it in with the ball to engage the core and the adductor muscles and we're gonna just come forward, rotate and add a little bit of twist as we do our tummy crunch. And again, you may do 10 of these in this repetition. Okay, so that's the first one. Second one would be to um, just do some adductor exercises. So again, basing it on the fact that it's a right leg adductor strain, we're gonna, I'll do it at this angle here so you can get a good picture, is to just obviously on your side, we're gonna look to recruit the adductor, the adductor muscle, and we're gonna bring the leg up, pause, and back down. Again, this is nice and simple, it's non-weight bearing, so it's a good exercise to do in the early stages of an adductor strain. So also you might do 10, 15, 20 repetitions, depending on the level of pain you're experiencing. Okay, so another exercise that would be an early, an early exercise for an adductor strain would be just using some foot slides. So again, similar to the ball exercise, you're gonna use, you're gonna be guiding yourself as to the amount of pressure you drop, put through the floor and the amount of pain you experience. So all you're looking to do is, again, working on the right side of the injury, you're just gonna bring your foot out to the side and you're just gonna gently slide the foot in as you adduct it. And then putting pressure down through the foot, through the floor, through your foot, is obviously gonna be graded based on the level of pain that you experience. So again, you can look to do 10 or 15 repetitions out the side and then bring them back through here, 10 or 15 repetitions through here. Once your pain scales are down to maybe one out of 10, you can start to introduce a little bit more dynamic exercise. So one of those would be a kind of a sprinting technique. So we're gonna stand on the left leg and we're just gonna mimic us doing a sprint. So again, for those of you football Gaelic, there's a lot of sprinting involved. And then you can swap over after a minute of doing it on your left leg and do it on your right leg. Okay. And then a similar exercise to that will be the skiing motion. Also quite good to help just stabilize through the leg, the core again. Think about your, your glutes, your core muscles. And we're just gonna do like we're cross country skiing. And again, you might spend a minute on the right leg and a minute on the left leg. So again, these are more dynamic exercises to help improve strength through the hip. And then another version of an exercise that you can add in to your program will be lunges. So we're gonna lunge forward, nice and slow and controlled. Think about core glutes activation. And again, you might do 10 to 15 reps this angle, 10 to 15 reps at a 45 degree angle, slow and controlled, and then 10 to 15 lateral lunges. And again, always looking to gauge your pains, pain levels, so as you're not causing too much problems. Another good exercise will be just single leg squats. So think about what we're looking to achieve here is get good core strength, good glute activation. And we're just going to squat down and back up. 
And again, your reps can be 10 or 15. And guided by your pain, you can do it on both legs. Okay. And then also, as you're getting stronger, you can continue to introduce some adducting exercises with a TheraBand. So obviously, TheraBand around the ankle, TheraBand attached to something in the house if you need to. And we're just going to obviously bring the leg across against resistance. So again, another exercise to add into more advanced stage levels would be a single leg Romanian deadlift. So this can be done with weights or without weights. And again, what you're looking to do is activate your core, your glutes, and put your, put your, obviously your balance through the right leg. We're going to go down, touch the floor, and come back up again. And we can repeat that obviously 10 to 15 times. As we get better, we can increase the weights. And can we swap over to the other leg. So in terms of a return to play program, what you're looking to do is introduce movements that you do in your sport. So again, if it's Gaelic, you want to be doing a lot of zigzag running, some weave running, some figure of eight running, lots of different sprint intervals, starting off at 50, 60, 70% effort. Again, making sure the pain in the adductor is easing off and it's not being aggravated by any of these, these exercises. If you find it has given you a little bit of a setback, go back a couple of stages of this program and then rebuild again, building it slowly and allowing the, uh, the injury to adapt and change and recover during your progressions. So if you'd like to learn more information, please contact myself at rageofmotionphysicaltherapy.ie.